Hello and uh, welcome to Easy Editing with Edias. My name is Frank Spangler and I'll be your instructor for these video tutorials. I've been working in video now for about 20 years and have worked with several different types of video editing software. Actually started back in the day before video was done on a computer and then was an avid editor for many years before switching to Adobe Premiere. And then about five years ago I made the leap to Edius and uh, have been editing most of my projects in that ever since. Glad you're taking a look at Edius. I found it to be a wonderful program, very fast, easy to use, a great codec, a beautiful picture, lots of real time, very little rendering. It allows me to use many different types of media on the same timeline and it works great with a variety of dedicated video cards that you can purchase from Canopus Grass Valley that uh, allow you to monitor high definition streams to an HD monitor for color correction and uh, monitoring your effects and filters and that type of thing. So for me it's just an excellent uh, editing solution that I've really come to appreciate. Well let's go ahead and get started with our tutorials and uh, go ahead and click on your EDIUS icon here if you've installed the program. Now the first time that you run Edius on a new installation, you'll get this dialog box that asks you to uh, designate a hard drive on your computer in which you would like to store your projects. Uh, it's a good idea to choose something other than your system drive, something other than what Edius has been installed on. And it's also a good idea to uh, use a resident drive, something that's other than a portable drive that might disappear after a few sessions. So. Find a resident drive on your computer that has some room, some space, and uh, go ahead and call it uh, Edius Projects. Hit OK. Now the first time that you run Edius, your welcome screen is quite uh, blank here with a lot of dead space in these gray areas. Uh, after you use the program a few times, these will fill up and starting a project will be a lot easier. Before you can really get started on a project in Edius, Edius would like you to tell it just a little bit about the types of editing environments that you typically work in. Do you want to work in the PAL uh, TV standard or do you want to work in NTSC? Do you want to work in standard definition or high definition? Would you like to be in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio or the 4 by 3? And so Edius would like you to set up some presets for the type of uh, projects that you normally work with. Uh, before we do that, let's just go ahead and uh, start a profile for yourself. Type in your name. And a uh, good thing about uh, profiles is that as you work on a station where other editors are working, you can always start with your profile and Edius will remember all of your personalized settings keyboard shortcuts, uh, the way you've designed your layout of windows and that type of thing. So uh, be sure to do that. You can always uh, right click and export your settings. Take them on a USB key to another EDIUS uh, computer or station. So that's very good to have. Now let's work on some presets. Go down here and double click on new preset. Now if you have a Canopus card installed in your system, you will get this little dialog box that talks about multiple output devices that have been found. Uh, just go ahead and hit OK. If you do have that card installed in your system, you'll see it uh, show up here in the first six designations. Uh, but since most of you are probably just checking out uh, EDIUS, maybe downloaded the 30-day free trial, probably all you're seeing over here in this left-hand column under Output Device are these generic OHCI designations. Uh, OHCI, uh, commonly referred to as Firewire on your computer. And uh, you'll notice that you have about six of them. The first three relate to a high definition standard. And uh, then the last three are standard definition. Now you'll notice that as you select each of the six options over here, that you will see different options becoming available over here in the output format. And so you have a, a wide variety of uh, editing environments that you can set up. Let's go ahead and set up a high definition preset. Actually most of my footage is shot with an HDV camera that I purchased in the United States. So I'll go ahead and use the 60HZ uh, designation. Now if you're from Europe or in one of those other countries that uh, have traditionally worked in the PAL 
TV standard. Uh, your HD camera is probably a 50 HZ. But uh, if you're in the US, Canada, Japan, uh, or those countries that have traditionally worked in NTSC, you're probably better off to start with this designation. And if you're HDV, that uh, would be 1440 by 1080. And because I shoot most of my footage in the 59.94 interlaced, that is the selection that I'll go with. Now, if you know that uh, your camera is one of these other flavors, um, you might as well go ahead and make your preset uh, reflect your camera. If you're not exactly sure what your camera has shot at, it's a good idea to check your manual. But for HDV, I'll select that. Now over here in the right hand column, EDIUS gives you the options of uh, setting up a few more defaults. Now for the render format, I usually like to choose the Canopus HQ Fine, and that way if you have to do any renders, it'll be just a little bit better quality. Time code preset can stay uh, the same. Now for time code mode, I usually like to have mine on drop frame, especially if I know my project is destined to TV broadcast. If you know that your video will only ever be shown on a computer, uh, internet or DVD, you can choose non-drop frame, but I like the keep it on drop frame. Total length is fine. Over scan size is fine. Audio reference level refers to the uh, level of tone that EDIUS will generate when you ask it to make a bars and tone. And again, if your project is destined to uh, television broadcast, you might want to check with your television station and see what they like to have uh, for the tone. You can set it to minus 12, minus 18, minus 20. Um, I usually just have it uh, set at minus 12. Panning mode is standard, uh, color space conversion, I leave it standard. Now this uh, bottom box here, you can set up uh, track defaults. Uh, this refers to how many tracks of video, how many tracks of audio that EDIUS will start with when you open a new project. Now, of course, you can always add more video tracks and more audio tracks as you need to, but I usually like to start out a project uh, with, say, two video tracks and uh, three audio tracks. Now, these two in the middle, uh, a VA track, refers back to a type of editing style that some uh, video editors preferred to use back when uh, EDIUS was first launched, and is a type of editing where video and audio are actually on the same track. Uh, if I remember right, I believe that uh, this option was also available in Premiere uh, back in those days and uh, probably was the reason why EDIUS chose to do that. But most editors today prefer to keep their video and audio on separate tracks, so let's just put a zero there and uh, most of our tutorials will reflect that. Now the T track refers to title track. It's actually a separate track on your timeline where you can place titles and graphics. Uh, however, most uh, video editors today don't uh, have a separate uh, title track and place all of their titles and graphics on a video track. So we'll go ahead and put a zero there so that uh, we don't have any of these odd tracks showing up when we start a project. Okay, go ahead and hit OK and uh, EDIUS will give you the option of naming your preset, a unique name. However, you can just go ahead and hit OK for now and you'll see that you have your first preset set up, an HDV preset shooting uh, in 60HZ at 1440 by 1080 shooting at the 59.94 interlaced. Okay, let's set up a couple more quick presets. Uh, many of the cameras that are being sold today actually shoot in full high definition, so let's make a preset for that. Um, if you are again in uh, NTSC land, you might uh, want to start with the 60HZ. If you are in PAL land, you'll probably want to work with the 50HZ. And if you know that you have shot all of your camera material at this 24HZ for that film look, then go ahead by all means and uh, start with this designation for your preset. For me, I have uh, a Canon 7D camera that I like to play around with. So I'll choose the 60HC and uh, because uh, I know that the Canon camera shoots in 29.97 progressive, I'll choose that setting. And over here you'll notice that uh, EDIUS has remembered all of the settings that we plugged in last time, so we can just go ahead and hit OK. And we now have a full high definition preset. Let's do one more. You may have some clients that are still sending you 
uh, some standard definition tapes and asking you to edit their programs. And uh, again, if you're in NTSC land, go ahead and start with that. If you're in PAL, start there. Uh, or if you happen to know that your client shot uh, with a film look, you can start there. But I'll go ahead and uh, work with NTSC. And you can check the tapes that your client has sent in, but more than likely they are in the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And once again, everything is as it should be over here. So let's hit OK. And we now have our third preset, a generic standard definition preset. Now, each time you launch EDIUS, starting a program will be very easy. You just double click on one of your presets, give it a name, and your program starts. Now, one last thing. Uh, before we end this tutorial and that is it's a good practice a, a good habit to get into to save your program once as soon as it starts uh, you can do that with control s or up with a menu setting file save project and once you save the program or the project once edius will start to save your program with an auto backup feature every three minutes and uh, that way, if the power goes out or you should have a system crash, you won't lose any of your work. But until you save your program once, EDIUS will not uh, remember your program, will not do the auto backups. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Presets, projects, and profiles.